dear editors and publishers. My name is Simon Lappert. I'm a writer and based in Zurich. I write poetry and fiction, and I've written two novels so far. Uh, both were published by Diogenes Verlag, um, who is also here in Zurich, based in Zurich as well. And the first novel, uh, my debut, was published now as a paperback by Diogenes Verlag in spring. And my second novel, Der Schwung, which would uh, be something like Jump in English, uh, came out in 2019 in August, also by Diogenes Verlag. And this is also the book I wanted to tell you a bit more about. So the protagonist of this book is Manu. She's a young woman, a gardener and biologist, and very fond of plants. And she is standing on a rooftop and refusing to come down. And very quickly, a lot of onlookers gather down on the square uh, in front of the house. And they are all speculating whether she wants to kill herself or what she's up to. And there's a press coming, there's the police coming. So there's really a lot going on down there, a lot of people. And the novel doesn't follow Manu's perspective now. Uh, so it doesn't follow the person on the roof, but it follows 10 different characters um, who are gathering down there on the square. Some of them are very close with Manu, like her boyfriend or her sister and others don't even know her or just crossed her briefly in the past. And somehow all of these characters start to stumble a bit in their daily life because of Manu's behavior on the roof. And they somehow start to question their own lives and, and their own futures. What is really important for me when I'm writing is that I I have a lot of respect for my characters. I try not to describe them from above, like, like in a moral kind of way or in a judging kind of way. I really try to get to know them. Maybe a, a little bit like in, in real life when you, when you get to know somebody and you maybe have an idea uh, of what this person is like or maybe have a prejudice. And then the closer you get, uh, the more you see. Uh, the more uh, unexpected sides, the more beautiful sides, but maybe also the more dark sides and dark corners. And yeah, in writing for me, it's a bit the same. And actually the nicest thing that, that can happen is when, when the characters start to develop their own lives and they start to throw over my plans that I have for them and just to whatever they want and maybe it's not at all what 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 i um had in mind for them so that's actually the nicest part another thing that that is very important for me during the writing process is the sound and the rhythm so the sound of a word or the rhythm of a sentence because for me they are transporting meaning uh, as much as the meaning of a word or a sentence itself. So I read out loud everything that I write um, over and over. It's a very good method for me uh, to, to find out uh, why a sentence is bumpy or why a character is behaving in a way which is maybe not that credible. Um, so this means a lot to me, the, the sound and, and the rhythm. And I have the feeling that my ears are somehow co-writers um, throughout the process. And this is also why I actually have a huge respect for, for translators, uh, for the process of translating, because this is really a challenge to, to transport the meaning as well as the sound into another language. And when, when it happens, when, when, when it succeeds, it's actually amazing. 